In today's video, we'll share five tips for the Cascade Head Hike, one of the best hikes near Lincoln City, Oregon. First, here's a preview of the ocean views that make the Cascade Head Hike so special. If you enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So now for the five tips for your hike to Cascade Head. The first tip is getting to the right trailhead. There are three trailheads, but two of them close for about half the year to protect sensitive species. The one that's open year round is the lower Cascade Head Trail. You can find it by navigating to Cascade Head Trail South Trailhead on Google Maps. It's the one at Knight County Park. It's about a two hour drive from Portland. No fees or passes are needed for parking and there's a bathroom at the trailhead. It's a popular hike, but we didn't have an issue finding a spot in the late morning on a summer Sunday. The second tip is to download the map from all trails or find a different map before you go. I'll include the link in the video description so you can find it easily. You could probably figure out the trail either way, but at the beginning the trail starts out on private property and crosses the road a couple of times, which is a little confusing without a map. The third tip is to be aware that the hike is very steep and there are sections with lots of roots. The steep section starts close to the beginning when the trail passes through a beautiful forest with old growth spruce trees, and it continues later on when the trail opens onto the grassy hills. Just make sure everyone in your group is comfortable with the difficulty level. Check out this awesome fern-filled forest from the beginning of the hike. The hike isn't long, it's just steep in places. It's about four to five miles out and back, depending on how far you go. There were even ripe salmon berries to snack on when we did the hike in mid-July. The fourth tip is what to bring and what not to bring. Since Cascade Head is owned by the Nature Conservancy, dogs aren't allowed. I'd recommend sunscreen and a lot of water. The first part of the trail is in this beautiful shaded forest, but once the trail opens onto the meadows, there is a lot of sun exposure. The fifth and last tip is that the recommended route on the All Trails map ends somewhat suddenly in the High Meadows. The trail itself continues beyond this turnaround point. It's a little confusing when you're out there, but it's because the trail continues to a different trailhead. If you keep going just a little bit beyond the end point from the All Trails map, the trail will re-enter the forest, which can be a good shaded place to stop for snacks and water if you're concerned about sunburn.
So you just carried the four pound bag of fruit up the mountain? Yeah, I barely felt it. It turns out that's a good strategy for keeping food cold, so my brother was able to have a sandwich at the end of our hike while Brian and I had protein bars. We also spotted some wildlife in the woods. I found the hike down to be even more stunning than the hike up because the ocean is in full view. Thanks for joining us at Cascade Head. See you next time.